This one is called George. Skinny guy with glasses, sent to Vietnam, came back with an understanding of heroin, an acquaintance with whorishness, a clarified wife, and a helmet on his soul. His family alive but indifferent, he makes his way back to the ocean, back to the popcorn, back to the pinball machines, wants to see the boss who had treated him well. Hey, Bob, it's me, George. Kindness is magnetic, but the past is a loose adhesive, and rarely is employment the glue. How nice to see you, George. He hangs around for about an hour, then slinks back to the deserted battlefield he has had tattooed on his future. This is called Greyhound. I'm riding on a bus sitting next to a woman eating a yellow tomato. We both need a bath. Outside the window is Kansas, then Nebraska. I note that in my ratty journal. Take a banana from a paper bag and pretend to shoot myself. All the reading lights are out. No one can see me. It's the chilling middle of the night. I hallucinate my future. I'm a CPA with asthma. I'm a zoologist with MS. I'm a baby who died of SIDS. The bus pulls into a rest stop. I buy a grilled cheese, a vanilla shake, some corn chowder. I covet a pearl button denim shirt. In the men's room, I read the offerings on the vending machines. Two truckers come and go, talking of Tupelo. Stumbling back to my seat, I stare at a dirty window into the sanitary blackness. We're 300 miles from dawn. Called Joan of Dark. It's a dialogue between uh, an older man and uh, a young girl. What happens in heaven stays in heaven. That's not true, she said to me. You know it's not true. Yes, the acts of paradise, slippery like syrup, slide down the clouds and drip onto the tops of the trees, where birds and squirrels reveal them to man. What color are the birds, she asked. Pink. The pink birds and checkerboard squirrels reveal the sly doings of the chubby cherubim. What sly doings? I meant sky doings. Reveal the sky doings of half-pint angels. I love heaven, don't you? I'm not allowed to tell. They will burn me at the stake if I tell. Like Joan of Dark? Just like Joan of Dark. <laughs> with a uh, poem 
call to the eyes off the room. One by one, I lost my desires. Dirty ambition left first. Knowledge raged, but then it cooled. Riches never had the hook really deep. Achievement, uncoupled from success, seemed pointless. Friendship became recursive. Appetite lost its urgency. Form declined into artifice. Love stopped feeding me, so I stopped feeding it. Insight evaporated when memory left. Lust lingered longest. My desires, gaily arrayed, bolted to a lapis slab, await me in heaven. With any luck, I'll go to hell. Thank you.